Hi, it's Kim. Thanks for coming to the channel today. Today I want to take a look at my Sempervivin, my hens and chicks. I have a lot of them growing in pots, but then also I've experimented with growing them directly into the ground. And hey, that really, really works. Makes them easier than ever. So let's take a look at some of these. Now right next to the lawn, for instance, in this front bed, it's mulched in very deeply, but the Sempervivum seem to flourish. Now it is very well drained here. When you pour water into that, it goes right through. But you can see how nice those look. Now I don't remember which particular one these are. I'd have to look it up based on when I planted it and named them at the time. But these are the um, Euphelii type. Because you can see how they're splitting right there at the crown. And they will form a nice big mat. But they grow real well in the mulch. Well, let me find a different one to show you. Now this one across the sidewalk is the same type, uh, the Sempervivin Heufelii. But this one is particularly tasty to the varmints. And I'm thinking it's chipmunks because we have a lot of the little chipmunks, ground squirrels, whatever they're called. Because this one was spreading out really nicely. But you can see how that one's been completely munched. Here, another one of the Heufelii next to the sidewalk. He's growing real nice. Splitting, of course, in the middle, but he's not spread out as wide as some of them have, but he's t growing real well. Now this particular Heufelii is growing kind of at the top of my boulder hill. You can see some of the plants that are here at the top especially my Roseanne geranium. And he's done real well, though he had a lot to overcome because um, if you remember back at one of my, I can't remember if I made a video or just a post. I'll have to reference that above. I had, um, landscape people come in and do the mulching etc. Well unfortunately they buried this one. It was doing real well. I think this one was called Torrid. I'll double check that. But you can see how beautiful those colors are. Let me get a little bit closer. You can see how beautiful those colors are. And I think we're beginning on this one as you can see for it to flower. It's sending out one of those high stalks, which means that it will flower at the top and then it dies out. But the rest of the colony stays alive. That's how this type of a plant is. But I really like that. I may, as this gets bigger and bigger, have to relocate it. And I don't know how many are under there and didn't manage to come out. But I really like that plant. Now in pots, this particular um, bunch of Sempervivum is growing along with sedum. That um, yellow is the sexangulaire, I'm pretty sure. And that is just about to finish blooming looking pretty floppy now as the big big top heavy 
blooms sag over the side. But you can see how the simps are sending up their flowering stems. They get real high like that. They bloom and then they'll die. But you can see many, many more down inside waiting to take their place. So we're not going to be without uh, Sempervivum. There's the coral carpet blooming white and I'll be giving these a nice strong haircut. But that's inside of a pot. Here's the front view. Now most of these pots with the sedum and sempervivum do get pretty thick with the plants fairly quickly. Now you can see where the sempervivum are starting to grow tall. This is their flower stalk. One of the little chick rosettes or hen rosettes grows tall like this and it's going to have flowers. That's what it'll look like once it dies. That's just one of the ones you can see the dead root and the dead hen. But it comes up like that, gets fairly tall, and then has a little cluster of maybe, I don't know, six or eight little pink flowers or yellow flowers, just depending on the type. And then that just dies down and goes away. But usually there's quite a bit of hens and chicks left over. So they'll survive. Don't worry about it. Now let's look at my blushing turtle and the rest of them growing. And next to the sidewalk down here is a lot of the coral carpet sedum. But just under is another one of the Heufelii. And you can see how well that's trying to spread even though it's being swamped by the sedum. I'm going to have to cut back the sedum a little. But let me get a little closer. Yeah, look at the bright colors on that one. Looks wonderful. Really, really love that and the way it spread. Looks good. Looks like getting a little bit of elongation on that one. He might be wanting to bloom. But way deep down in here, you can see it beginning to do a split. This one does have really pretty colors. I did put little tiny name tags written on a little piece of wood, but God knows what went with that little piece of wood. That's in full bloom. That stuff is so pretty. It's pretty in bud too. Now, of course, this is one of my sedum, not the sempervivum that were talking about here but it looks good move on around got a lot of trimming to do on the big root this one always has a little weed growing up through it, the prost prostrate spurge, always growing. Now this, we're getting back into the Sempervivum, the regular, the Tectorum. And you can see how huge that one's gotten. We're getting more into bright sun now, out on this edge. But I've kind of got that at the base of one of my tufa pots full of the immigrantion, which is swiftly being 
engulfed by the plants. So needless to say, we're going to have to be in a rearrange mode. Those look really good. Went a little bit too close. That one has a pretty blue-green color with little crimson tips. And this is its sister here. One that looks almost just like it. They're just, what, 12 inches apart? Don't you love construction trucks? And now let me follow on up to these. At the base of another tufa. That one looks like it's been just a little bit feasted upon, but it is a really pretty one. That one too, right next to the sidewalk, planted in mulch. And this one, if you'll remember an old video, this one is planted at the exit of a drainage pipe. I can't even find the drainage pipe in there anymore. But this sedum is just about spent and I'm gonna have to hair cut it all away. Let's see if I can see. It should be about right there. Well, it drains it away from the foundation when I haircut it, I'll have to film it. Look at that one hidden. We'll have to free you up, buddy, when we do some trimming. There used to be a frog in here. I'm going to have to see if he's still alive. Now right here is one of my regular hens and chicks. Growing hugely. You can see how above the Look at that. A couple of them are starting to look a little distorted, like they might start to grow their bloom and then be done. But you can see the tiny little stolons that they are growing out on a little stick that I can just pluck off and take somewhere else. really like when they grow like that. Crevice Garden is doing real well. I like it around the simps. Now right next to it, just over from this one, is another one of the uh, Euphelii, and you can see those brilliant colors. I like those. This is another favorite. I am not sure of its name. I have to look it up and look when I planted it to get the names. And if I have that, I'll put that on the screen. And I hopefully have that. Look at that.
the way down in there. Can't help but love it. It's next to one of the big root geraniums, which is just about finished its bloom. That I'll trim. And now here are the sempervivum. All along the edges here. Look how massively this one has spread. Gorgeous. Just love it. Love it, love it, love it. How far does he go up under the plant? Not too far. Next to him is another one, the regular Tectorum, splitting by the little stolons, growing out on the side. I could pull every one of those and distribute them around and have even more massive growth. Look at that. Huge. It's just under a Johnson's Blue. That still has some blossoms, but really needs to be trimmed. See some baby feathers, baby bird feathers. And then I think there's one more. Yeah, one more up against the brick. Spreading. Good, wonderful. Can't help but love those. So, just wanted to let you see how well those have grown and how they grow from year to year. And this is one of those ones that I've picked up in Walmart. They usually look really big and overgrown uh, hens and chicks but they have done the very, very best for me. Love them. So, next time you see a package of those, don't hesitate, because I'm sure going out and checking to see if I see a bunch more. But thanks for joining today. Glad you came by to watch. And I hope you'll stick by for some more videos and come back again. Bye-bye.